In the shadow of rising border tensions and an increasingly drone-saturated battlefield, the Indian Army is once again reassessing its short-range air defense posture. Over the past few years, drones have transformed from surveillance tools into fully weaponized platforms capable of targeting military bases, ammunition depots, and forward deployment zones with alarming precision. It is within this evolving landscape that India is now turning its attention toward Germany's Orlikan Sky Shield, a technologically advanced, modular, and highly automated Shorad system developed under Rinmetal Skynex family. This system has gained international recognition for its precision firepower, all-weather readiness, and its unique ability to counter the exact type of drone threats India faced during Operation Sindor. As New Delhi fast tracks its mission to modernize air defense, SkyShield is emerging as a top contender, especially as diplomatic momentum grows to remove Rinmetal from a decade-long blacklist. The Indian Army's renewed interest did not come from theoretical projections but from the harsh realities witnessed during Operation Sindor in May 2025. This was a defining moment in South Asian military history, where Pakistan deployed one of the largest drone swarms ever seen along the line of control. With an estimated 300 to 600 drones launched across 36 Indian positions. The skies rapidly turned into a battleground dominated by Turkish made kamikaze drones, loitering munitions, and armed UAVs. Turkish advisors were reportedly guiding Pakistan's drone operations, pushing Ankara's growing influence in Islamabad's defense ecosystem. Although India managed to shoot down hundreds of these drones using upgraded L-70 and Zu-23-2 guns fitted with new electro-optical systems and fire control computers, the conflict exposed a glaring capacity gap. Manual aiming exhausted gun crews, reload speeds could not keep up with the tempo of attacks, and the ballistic characteristics of older ammunition proved insufficient against fast, agile, and unpredictable drone profiles, this experience reshaped Indian strategic thinking. The army realized that vintage systems, no matter how well upgraded, were not designed for the pace and complexity of modern drone warfare. This triggered a push for high automation, sensor fusion, and programmable ammunition, areas where the Orlikan Sky Shield excels. The Sky Shield system has already demonstrated its credibility in real-world conflicts such as Ukraine, where it effectively neutralized Iranian shard drones that share operational characteristics with many drones used by Pakistan. This battle-tested background makes it a particularly appealing option for India as it seeks solutions capable of resisting swarm attacks, low-altitude intrusions, and terrain-hugging threats. At the heart of the Sky Shield lies its impressive architecture. Unlike older systems, Sky Shield is fully modular, allowing India to configure it as a fixed-site defense network or as a mobile, truck-mounted system for rapid relocation. Its unmanned sensor units use the XTAR 3D radar, a highly advanced 3D surveillance radar capable of scanning 360 degrees and tracking threats as far as 50 kilometers away. This allows for early detection and automated queuing, removing the burden of constant human monitoring. The radar feeds its data into the SkyMaster Battle Management System, which integrates information from radars, thermal cameras, electro-optical sensors, and even third-party battlefield networks. Decisions that once took several minutes in legacy systems can now be made in under 10 seconds, giving the army a decisive edge in responding to fast-moving aerial intruders. Sky Shield's primary firepower comes from the Orlikan Revolver Gun MK3, an unmanned 35mm cannon capable of firing 1,000 rounds per minute. The gun's automation allows operators to stay safely undercover, relying on the system's sensors and fire control software to track and eliminate targets with exceptional accuracy. But the true game-changer is Rinmetal's ahead ammunition. Unlike conventional explosive shells, ahead rounds are programmed milliseconds before firing to burst in front of the target, releasing a dense cloud of tungsten pellets that intercept and destroy even the smallest drones. With a proven effectiveness rate of over 90%, ahead ammunition has shown in real conflicts that it can easily handle micro-drones that traditional ammunition simply cannot defeat. What adds further value for India is SkyShield's open architecture design. This allows for seamless integration with very short-range missiles such as India's own Akash-NG, Igler-S replacements, or QRSAM variants. 
A combined gun missile kill chain would give the Indian Army layered protection, allowing guns to handle drones and missiles to tackle larger or more distant threats. The entire system is transportable by air or land and can be deployed at high altitude forward bases, making it ideal for India's diverse operational environment, from desert installations in Rajasthan to icy posts in Ladakh. However, the biggest challenge is political. Rin Metal was blacklisted in 2012 due to alleged corruption claims involving the Ordnance Factory Board. The company has consistently denied these allegations, but the ban has kept it out of Indian defence tenders for more than a decade. Now, with the Ministry of External Affairs and the Ministry of Defence reviewing the case, discussions about lifting the ban have gained momentum. If this happens, the SkyShield could enter India for trials as early as the second quarter of 2026, marking a significant shift in procurement policy. Several reports indicate that India may insist on deep transfer of technology, including local production of guns, radars, and ammunition. Companies like BEML, Tata, Less and Tubro, and Bharat Forge could become manufacturing partners, in line with India's Atmanibar Bharat doctrine. Rinmetal has reportedly presented India with an initial procurement proposal worth 500 to 700 million euro for 50 to 100 Sky Shield units, with long term scalability up to 220 next generation air defense guns. The system's high cost has raised eyebrows, as Skynex is among the most expensive Shorad platforms in the world. But military analysts argue that the value comes not just from the system itself but from its advanced ammunition, automation, and proven combat performance. Strong offset agreements could allow India to recover nearly 40% of the investment through joint ventures, just as Rinmetal did earlier in 2026 with its ammunition partnership with Reliance Defence. As Pakistan and China continue to scale up their drone manufacturing, and as low-cost kamikaze drones become the new norm in hybrid warfare, India faces a critical transition point. The choice is no longer about buying a gun or radar, it is about building an integrated, automated, and scalable air defense network that can survive the next decade of warfare. The Orlikan Sky Shield, if adopted, could become one of the pillars of India's future air defense architecture, blending German engineering with Indian manufacturing and operational doctrine. In many ways, the upcoming decision will determine whether India stays ahead of enemy drone swarms or risks being overwhelmed by the shifting realities of modern combat.